Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 22 Multi-Level Game Outline. I'm going to go through, I have it made, I'm going to go through how to lay out a multi-level game. I'm going to show you what I have in mind. It's going to start off when you call your game up, it's going to have the rules and directions. These are for the game, how you win or lose points, how many points to move to the next level, and then are the points carried on to the next level? Is there a time limit? Do you repeat a level or start over should you to fail or time limit? And what are the special parameters or selected parameters or difficulties like are some things worth more than others or are they hard to do? Now these are what you're going to depend on your game. And this is a number I'm just sticking in here to keep track for myself. So when I click on this, I jump to frame 10. This is level 1. Then you want to have the, the rules for level 1. Again, this is the same thing. How many points and all this, all the things you need to know about level 1. So when now when we press it, we're going to jump to frame 11. And I have a real simple game on there. Your game may be simpler. Your game may be more complex. But mine's very simple. I got two things. I click on them. And when I do, I go to the next frame. So I click on it. Now I'm playing my game. I'm on, in my case, frame 11. I click this one. It disappears. I click this one and I jump to level 2. And this is level 2. All the rules and regulations. I'm up on frame 20 now. This one I think is slightly different. This one has the two um, objects that I'm hitting. But I got two seconds to do it. So first of all, I'll delay. I'll get one. Two seconds are up. So I chose to come back to, to this level. Do it again. If I get them, just one of them. I gotta do this level over. And if I get both of them in the time limit, I jump to frame 30, which is my level three. I think my level three is pretty much the same as my level two. One second, two seconds, and I jump back and do it again. One second, if I hit one, only one, I jump back again. I have to hit them both. And this takes me to level four. So frame, so my case, Level 3 and Level 2 are almost exa are exactly the same. So now Level 4, it's slightly different. It still has only a 2 second time limit and the two objects, but this time you go all the way back to the beginning if you don't get them in time. So I'll get that one. If I don't get that, all the way back to Level 1. Level 4, and if I get them both, I go game over. Okay, now, your game, again, may be simple, may be complex. I'm going to start down here. I have this layer called Frame Labels. And Frame 1 is Intro, and that would be written over here. Frame 10 is Level 1. 20 is Level 2. 30 is 3. 40 is 4, and this one's called Game Over. And the reason I'm given all these spaces in here is two. I can see the level. It's written out instead of just seeing the little flag. And I don't know the complexity of your game. You may need more layers, more frames than this in your game. There's my layer with my directions on it. If I lock them all and just show you that layer. There's my directions. That's on all those frames. Uh, on this layer, I have my buttons. That's the buttons that allow me to, to play that level while I'm on it. And here, you may not need this, but when you're building something, sometimes when you're trying to keep track of frames, I just put some a text box in here to tell me I'm on frame 10, frame 11. It's there somewhere. There it is. 20, it's here somewhere. Okay, and this one here, I called it level one. I just should have called it my games. I was gonna make a, a layer for each of my game, each of my levels, but I stuck them all in the same one. There's the, the game for that one. 
there's the gain for that level, that level, and that level, which is basically the same. And here is the you win, game over. Now, let's look at the action script, which allows this to happen. Here we just have a button, and the button lets me go to level 1. Pretty simple. I'm not going to go through the code. Uh, th I'm, I'm certain that the people that are asking for this can write the code. But I'll just leave it there for a couple seconds. So that would be this button, which allows you to jump to level 1. And level 1, there's the first action code on that. And a couple things. It's a stop, naturally. And I have a variable called hit count. Hit count is equal 0. This is going to count the number of times or the number of objects I hit that allows me to advance to the next frame. Again, I have a, a level button. There is the button, and that just sends me to the next frame. There's the next frame. Again, a stop, and here's my two objects I'm hitting. They're called oval L1 MC and oval L1A. MC and in them a couple things happen in my case I'm making it disappear by using this code so when I click on it it disappears and here's that hit count variable that we made on the previous action script I'm incrementing it so hit count one plus plus semicolon that means add one to it so when I hit that one it'll make it one when I hit that one it makes it two and here's the event listener that's testing it if that hit count equals equals two if you I, I suggest you have like 10 or 20 and have them moving around or whatever your game is but in this case I only have two so when I hit them both it will then jump to level two and it's pretty much repetitious from there here I'm hitting I'm doing it but what's important here now is when you jump to this second level you're going to add a new variable called hit count two, but make sure you that hit count one. Make sure it's a zero. If you don't, it'll go back and back and back and start and start this level over and over again because it'll think the count is two. So make sure you reset that to zero. And here's the event listener listening for this button to be clicked to send me to the next frame. So except for this line here, it's almost identical. This one is almost identical again, except we got a delay into it. Here's the delay. It's a generic type of delay. I'll just leave it there for a couple of seconds. And it's going to time, in this case, they time in milliseconds. So this one's 2,000 milliseconds, which is two seconds. And I'm calling it time is up. And two things take place when the time is up. I reset the delay so it can work again. And because the time is up, I'm going to go back and start level two over again. So go to and stop at that frame level two. At the same time, this is when you're clicking those ovals, clicking on them. And this is exactly the same, except we're incrementing hit count two. Okay, this makes it disappear, this increments it, and naturally if you had 10 of these ovals, you would need 10 of these, and your, and your test down here would be equals equals 10. And when we reach the right count, we jump to level 3. 3 is identical to 2, except for again, we're going to ha add a new variable, hit count 3, which is 0. And we got to do this, make hit count 2 a 0. Otherwise, we just keep starting over and over and over. And there's, there's the event listener for this button to jump to the next frame to start the level. There we go. I have a delay. It's exactly the same as the other delay. The only difference is, is I'm going to jump back to level 3 instead of level 2. You could have it here jump back to level 2. You could have it here jump back to level 1. That's up to you. I'm just going to start this one over again. 
and there's my ovals testing testing for them to be clicked on I'm incrementing the hit count three there it is on the other one and here's the test which sends me to level four level four is different it has the going to send us back to level one so go here this is another hit count four this is resetting the hit count three to zero so it can work again this is the button that allows me to click to go to the next frame so I can start that level there it is we want that delay that's exactly the same delay the only thing is different is that this is a hit count four delay four these you see there these are delays are different numbers as they would be on 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 number three they would be delay three this would be delay four uh, we delay for reset in this case now I'm sending you all the way back to level one here's the clicking on it and incrementing the the hit count four this is making the target disappear you could leave the targets and not have them disappear and just count how many times you hit and have to hit a thousand target times in so many seconds that's up to you and here's the test for hit count four and if indeed hit count four is successful you jump to the frame that says game over and that's this frame here all it's in here is a stop uh, hit count I'm gonna make it back to zero and I'm gonna reset the delay now the reason I did that was you may also want to add a button here just like the buttons here just like these buttons this one here you might want to add one in here that says uh, start again and you can either have it go to and play intro back here this frame one or go to and play level one this frame here so if you have any problems or any, want any additions just let me know and I'll try to work with you I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn